Hello everyone. In this video, I will be talking about Android Intent and Bundle. What this is all about? Let me show you in the emulator. Assume that this is one activity, and over here I have provided my name and my phone number. Now, the moment I will click this button, I will be moving to the next activity. And before doing so, do remember this is a string as well as this is a number. So I'm carrying a heterogeneous input from one activity to another one. So as I click this button, I land up in the second activity. And here it is showing both the input which I did bring from the first activity. Now, if I wish, I can click back and that will send me back to the first activity from my originated. So this is what actually the video is going to refer. And for this, I have taken few edit text, which you can see over here. There are a few more edit text over here. Let's not talk about this part. And I have got a button over here that has also been mentioned for taking input username and, and phone number. There are a couple of string variables which I have written over here. Now coming to the uh, on create method, the very first thing, let's not talk about these variables. These are something part of this part of portion of the activity. So I have initialized these variables over here in the form of ET1 and ET2 as well as the button is also initialized. Now, uh, in case of the XML, let me show you the XML part of main activity, then you will understand that. Over here, I didn't provide any kind of uh, on, -click, on click method, which we generally see in case of button. There is, if I scroll up over here, here it is. Here is my first button. I didn't provide any kind of on click method. Rather, what I've done is that I have made use of set on click listener. Set on click listener is a method that gives a call to the interface on click. And within that, I have defined the body of the onClick method. This is also another way of accessing a button click event. So over here, I have uh, initialized uh, the intent variable. What we know that intent is a container which will be helping me to carry my data from one activity to another. And before you carry the data, before you send the data, you need to initialize them with the source and the destination. That's what I have done. So the very first input type, which was a string type, so no type casting is required. It has been saved by the key called name. And the next input was an integer variable. So type casting required and I stored the integer in the form of the variable my phone. And that has been uh, stored in the key called phone. And then the start activity for activity when I'm passing the intent. So this will bring me to the second activity. As I land up in the second activity, the very first thing what I have to do is that let me show you the second activity XML as well. So in second activity, I've got a text view where I will be seeing the result and it has also got a button via which I will be returning back to the first activity as you can see over here. And in the code window, if you see, this is the text view which will be receiving my uh, input and it will be showing over here. And this is a button that will be helping me to send back to the first activity. So coming to the second activity, these are the two initialization which I have done. I have given a call to the bundle because bundle need to receive my intent and that is what I have done over here get intent and the get extras because in the get extra part the key value pair data is been actually available. So in case I am checking that if my bundle is not null then obviously the bundle has got some of the data. So what I am going to do is that since the key is name and this is a string type so I am using the get string method to store the data in a string variable. And in case of uh, integer type, what I'm doing over here is that this is the key that was been referred. So I'm using the get int uh, method to store it in the variable. So that means depending upon the data type of the key, you have to use respective uh, methods. And then I have given a call to the set text in the text view where I have merged up both the statement in the form of string, con uh, string concat. And after doing that, again, in this particular activity, there was a button that has given a call to this onclick listener which again will be giving me a call to the onClick method. And there is a system defined function called onKeyPress that will be sending me back to my main activity. Whereby when I am running this application from the very first activity as the data is passed to the second activity where it has been displayed. And again, if I click this button, it will be sending me back to the first activity. And this whole thing is actually done with the help of onBackPress. So you did get the clue that how do you traverse from one activity to another and, and, and how do you carry data in between these two activities? I hope this video will be effective for you guys. In my next video, I will be talking few more things about this. Until then, have a nice time.